I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Uh, today, I'm going to give you guys a live demo on Lever Presser from Hue, uh, from Korea, my home country. Okay, so I did a live unboxing yesterday. I pulled a shot. There was a mess, okay? I have to say, there was pretty messy there. It wasn't, uh, there's, there's, you know, let's, you know, let's face it, it was pretty ugly. Okay, there was a pretty ugly episode. But I think I, I, think I did mention yesterday, if you guys want something pretty and high quality, this is not, this is not the channel, folks, okay? But if you guys want to come hang out with us, and then hopefully I can show you, you know, tips and tricks on how to make coffee, and you get to see live, okay? So there's no editing or there's no filler, okay? You get to see the everything, okay? You get to see everything here. Anyway, so let's make some coffee with Lever Presser uh, Hue from Lever Presser. So this is the Pro model, okay? Uh, if you go to their website, if you buy Pro model, you're gonna get this. Uh, they're gonna give you a carrying package with uh, the actual machine itself. And then obviously, if you wanna stand, you have to buy that separately. And then, so that, they do have another stand come out. This thing is pretty spectacular. But I don't know why there was the cost on that one. I think this might be the, I think I got the earlier model. But, so yesterday I used that with the, the, the aftermarket, and not the aftermarket, but their, uh, the latest stand. But today, I'm going to make coffee with their, just the regular, their regular stand. Okay. Let's see here. So before we go on, I'm going to, big shout out to Hugh, okay. They hooked me up with this uh, package, so very nice of you. Very nice of them. All right. So let's talk price before we, you know, because if this thing is out of your price range, still, you know, it's, you guys can still watch, but somewhat pointless. Okay, so let's talk price before we move on. Let's see here. So I have the black one. Uh, I'm, I'm on their website right now. Uh, 30, uh, 325, okay. 325 bucks. If you're gonna go with their travel kit, the travel kit has everything. Look, uh, they, they got everything. They got, the uh, uh, goodness, let's take a look. Let, let's take a, take a look at their travel kit. They have the little mug there, stand, machine. Yep, they got everything with, uh, goodness, with distribution tool and a dosing funnel. So they hook you up with uh, total package. The price is that is $444. Okay, so you guys are thinking, man, $444. So what can I get from, what can I get for $444 in our current market it comes to manual espresso machine. So this is not cheap. Okay, if you're looking at the price point, uh, that fits kind of like weird place. Because if you're looking at the Flare, Flare 58, Okay, Flare 58 is, hold on, let me check their price right now. Flare 58. Let's see here, Flare 58. If you go to Prima Coffee or go to the, their uh, Prima Coffee sells it. They sell it at $5.75 for Flare 58. And then, uh, so $444 for the total kit, travel kit, if not $325. So, hmm. So it's kind of that something you have to decide. So you want something you can travel with, uh, or you want something you want to permanently leave on your counter. So, I mean, that's some, yeah, that's a tricky one. But, I'm, what I'm impressed with uh, Hue so far, Lebra Presso, just the beer quality is just absolutely fantastic. You know what the fact is, you know, Korean, you know, we are known for, I mean, we like, you know, fine products, okay? I mean, I like it. And where beer qualities are solid, well-built, mechanically, they're pretty sound as well. Just I'm gonna remove the top for you. 
comes with a little level uh, pressure gauge, okay? And everything is just solid, okay? It feels really nice to up and down. Let's take a look. So here's the port filter. I mean, look at the, the machine inside, machine. I mean, this is pretty nice, okay? Everything is all really tight. And even screen, the shower screen as well. What else? Uh, comes to port filter. Uh, this is their IMS, okay? So they are using IMS uh, 51 millimeter filter baskets. So uh, they got spouted. You can also remove that. So if you wanna, if you are doing some kind of make video, put on the Instagram, you can get a nice bottomless shot. If not, if I mean, I just like to use it, just spout it. You don't have to worry about you know, let's see, spitting out the, all the channeling on your filter baskets. But again, so this is the 51 millimeter baskets. And I'm going to pull the shot using 17 gram. Okay. I'm going to be using 17 grams of coffee. Uh, comes with this plastic dosing cup as well. I uh, also work as a temper too. If not, if you're going to buy the travel kit, Look like comes with distribution tool. Okay. The one the one side is the distribution, back side is the temper. Uh, so this side is adjustable. You can actually adjust that. And if you want to, you can also purchase the separately dosing funnel. 51 millimeter. Uh, 51 millimeter, who used that? Let's see here. I think uh Lapaboni uses a 51 millimeter. So I'm talking about post mill which means after 2000. So let's say if you have lap of money, uh, if you want to have some kind of manual machine for your travel vacations, uh, get one of these, it's going to be compatible with your, all your tools, the 51 millimeter tools. So all depend on what you want, okay? <clears throat> Just like any other manual machine, it's all about the managing the heat, the thermal, okay? There's no if and buts about it, so. So you gotta warm it up a couple of times before, before pull the shot. Okay, so if you have the, uh, the upgraded stand, something like this, uh, pretty much you can fit any scale, okay? You can fit any kind of scale there, but if you don't wanna spend money on this, let's say if you go with the standard uh, scale, not the scale, stand, If you have a fancy Akaya scale, it's not gonna work, okay? It's not gonna fit. They're too tight. But, if you have a, like a so cheap scale from Amazon, so I got this one from Amazon years ago. Fits perfectly, okay? Fits perfect there, so. Uh, if you don't use scale, you can definitely do that as well. And, I think, I think we are, yeah, let, uh, let's make some coffee, guys, okay? Let's make some coffee here because bottom line is, can you pull the decent shot with us, okay? Can you make the real espresso? And if you guys are into lighter roast, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, okay? If you're into really lighter roast, I would not recommend a uh, manual machine, which means labor machine that you have to heat up the water. Uh, except Flare 50A. Flare 50A has a heating element, but uh, any other flare, any other flare, it's not gonna cut it because you cannot get hot enough. Okay, you could, but it's a lot of work. So I'm using medium to dark roast. Medium to dark roast. Um, but you know what? Think about it. I mean, if you're on vacation, I want to have coffee. That's it. Okay. I'm not gonna look for that special, I'm not gonna bring my specialty coffee. I'm just gonna bring some coffee. Still going to be better than store-bought. You know, not the store-bought, but you know, going out to the coffee shop there. So, I think, yeah, I think I stick with the medium to dark, so you don't have to warm it up much. And what else? I can tell you about Lever Presso. Again, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. The, the beer quality is pretty spectacular. 
I mean, yeah, beer product is really nice, for sure. All right, so I'm gonna heat up some, I'm gonna heat up chamber here. Uh, you got the pretty much three pieces. That's it. You got, you got the main water chamber screen, a shower screen there, put down in the middle, fill the baskets, screw that one in. Again, everything is uh, really nice, tight. Okay, really tight there. Very tight. And there comes with this, uh, yeah, I mean, everything about this is really tight and pretty nice. All right. I'm going to do some heat up. Let's uh, warm up the machine. And I'm using the boiling temperature right now. Okay. If you are just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. So as you can see, the water goes that corner right there. Okay, unfortunately it's not going to work. I'm just going to hit up like that. Okay. Because you do want to warm up your machine. Just going to hit up my machine here. I'm just going to heat it up. So just like so. Let's grind some coffee beans. I'm using the DF83 this morning. Comes to grind setting, I'm setting at 45 clicks. Okay. I'm using, again, 17 grams of coffee. Coffee is ready. I'm just gonna get all the water out. Okay. Just gonna remove the top there. Uh, comes to cleaning, uh, it's not too bad. Okay, comes to cleaning, it's not bad at all. But once you got your workflow down, uh, this should be a pretty easy process. Yeah, it's gonna be once you get your workflow down. I mean, I I bet you you can finish in about a couple of minutes. I'm gonna do a quick WDT here. If you want to, I'm just gonna. Okay. I use their tools there. I'm using their distribution tool. Pretty precise. And I'm gonna use the back end to temp it. That's it. Looks pretty good. All right, I think we are ready. Okay. Only thing we got to do is I'm going to put the screens already inside. Just going to tight. Just like so. Just make sure it's tight. Put that in the center stand. Uh, make sure down position, guys. Make sure you get the down position there. Get down position. Uh, if you want to use the spout, if you wanted to, hopefully, you're going to have some good shots. Okay, you're going to have some good shots with it. All 
I'm going to put my scale inside. Uh, let's do like 1 to 2 ratio. Let's go 1 to 2. Tear. All right, I think we are ready. Time to put some water in it. We should be good to go. Here we go. If you are just joining us, you are watching the live demo on Level Presser. I'm just going nice and easy, just put the water there. Uh, definitely having gooseneck kettle helps. It's not a must, but yeah, definitely gooseneck kettle help to pull the water into the chamber. We start with the down position. Uh, I wish I can, hold on, I wonder if we can change some angle here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys can see this. Alright. There we go. Here we go. Just gonna lever up, up position. So right now, we are doing the pre-infusion right now. And then at this point, I'm going to start press down. We're gonna go one to two ratio. Let's go at 30, 40. I'm just gonna lift up to stop the uh, flow. Man. So once you lift up, I think it's check the shot out, guys. This, again, I mean, this looks pretty good. I have to say. And at, at this point, because you, you, you want to flush out the rest of the water, okay? Uh, similar to what Flare 58 does. I'm just going to get the, the last rest of the water. Just get it out. There we go. Man, everything about this machine is so tight, well built. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying that because it's made in Korea. Okay. Well, I wonder if this rubber piece goes here. Actually, you know, it works. Yeah, there we go. It'd be nice. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, overall, guys, as you saw, that's pretty tight. Okay. Pretty tight there. Okay, so this is a 51 millimeter, okay? Yeah. So let's try this coffee, guys, okay? So this is, I got from, this coffee is from Brent, okay? Uh, they're espresso blend, naughty, chocolatey, uh, medium to darker roast as well. Here you go, cheers, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all, okay. So, so this shot is good. I bet you if I'm gonna pour one more time, if you feel this right now, it's pretty hot. I wonder I can check the temperature. So here's my temperature gun here. You can tell me the temperature of it. Let's go. 
hundred and about 140 Fahrenheit, 140 or so. Yeah. It does hold the heat pretty well. I mean, goodness, it's hot. Okay, it's kind of hard to touch. So, shot looks good. Okay, so here's the cleanup. That's the big one. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but the one thing I don't like about the flare, uh, regular flare, okay, not the uh, 58. Regular flare is cleaner. Unfortunately, okay, unfortunately, I do not have sink. And the, most of you, you have sink at home. Which means you are going to take this, go over to your sink. So imagine this is your sink, okay? Imagine this is your sink. Pretty small sink. And you are going to remove the bottom here slowly. So that's it. So coffee is stuck there right now. And you are going to wash the filter quick. Uh, with, um, I mean, again, the width of my older flare, you have to use spoon to dig out, okay? So let's see with this. Oh man, they're easy. Okay, they're pretty easy to just quick, uh, give it a quick wash on your hot water and then you can re uh, ready for your next shot. Man. Uh, so before I got this uh, machine, a couple, uh, couple weeks ago, I was a little skeptic, you know, skeptic you know, how it's going to work into my workflow. But, I mean, you guys saw yesterday for the first time, and then you just saw me with, so this is my second day, okay? And, I mean, if, you are, if this is the only machine you have at home, I mean, you, you, you're going to get really fast, okay? Again, I'm not... Uh, I'm not recommend if you if you like using the lighter roast. Your lighter roast, you need to have a lot of heat to extract, you know, get the most out of it. But if you are into medium to dark roast, I think you're gonna you're gonna be just fine. Okay, you're gonna be just fine with the, uh, this machine here. So anyway, I hope this video helps. I'm gonna shout out to you got Richard. Shout out to Joe. You have a yeah. We got yeah somebody. There was a guy. Uh, let's see. Joe say maybe I should get connect with manufacturer and import to USA. Huh? I don't know. I mean, is there anybody sells it in Hue in this country? I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Uh, it's not gonna hurt, Joe. Okay. I um, if you need a number, let me know. Okay, I have their contact information. So. Yeah, because, I mean, overall, this is nicely built, okay? I definitely go with, if you can go with the stand, makes it a lot easier, all right? Makes it a lot easier to pull the shot. And also, you know, looks, I mean, looks pretty cool too. Uh, you know, just put right on your uh, kitchen counter, you should be, yeah. I mean, it looks pretty good. And the, uh, the craftsmanship is fantastic. Yeah, because I use a couple of uh, lever machines. Uh, comes to build quality, pretty solid. As you saw, the cleanup and um, it's simple. Okay, very easy cleanup. Uh, come from the shot as well. They're good. Okay, again, if you are into really light roast, I do not recommend it for sure. But if you are into uh, medium to dark, uh, you should be fine. And then let's see here. Uh, Richard say I need a 51 millimeter puck screen from La Pavone Mix. Uh, use the or so you can use a pico presser. Richard say I can use a pico presser puck screen. Is a pico presser 51? I thought they are like little bigger than that. Okay. Yeah, because I thought pico presser is a little bigger than 51. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys. This, again, I hope this video helps to determine. If you are thinking about getting level presso down the road or holidays, let me know. Uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll, I'll be back in about an uh, hour or so. So we're going to be doing the, another advent calendar.
for 2022 from Onyx Advent Calendar. Today is 20th, guys. I got four more days to go on Advent Calendar, so uh, I think I'm gonna make some, we're gonna make some good coffee with it, and maybe one more later. Okay, we'll see. If a time permitted, we might do one more. Okay, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning or afternoon. See you guys next.